Hi folks, welcome to Collins Model Railway. As you know, a couple of days ago I acquired this through the post. It is R3169 Alton Hall GWR 4900 class number 5972 aka Hogwarts Castle or Hogwarts Express made famous in the Harry Potter films. Now then, this is by Hornby Railroad. Now what I've done this morning, as I will show you, I have fitted the header board on the front of the locomotive. We shall zoom in a little touch more. And as you will see, it should be, is the Hogwarts Express. Now I shall soon put this on the track with a rake of five coaches. There you go for now. Hope you enjoy. Hi folks, here we are. Welcome to Collins Model Railway. This morning I have used some of these little coffee stirrers, as you might see. And what I've done, i trimmed them to length and i trimmed them to size. Used the rounded bits for the tops of the posts. And as you can see, I put some cross members across and a few crocodile clips. And what I've done, I've used some super glue on it. Now, I'm going to leave this set now for the next few hours. And probably this evening now, I'll put the top layer of the cross member on. And then we shall add another little bit of a video soon. Here we are, Collins Model Railway again. What we've done now in the last about 20 minutes is added the top rail to this fence. And I'll leave these couple of crocodile clips on you now. Let it go solid. And what I shall do in the next day or two now is use some sample pot paint and paint them a brownish colour. I shall show you the pot in a minute. Hi folks, welcome to Collins Model Railway. What I have been doing, as you may see, these are coffee stirrers by you, which you can get in any more or less coffee shops, cafes and that. And what I've been doing is snipping the ends up here. These are two now clipped together for a minute with one of these little pegs. Make sure you've got two of equal length. And what you could do, you clip the ends off of here on that side, keep them for posts, like so, right here, make sure they're both of equal length, and then with the flat pieces, which will then be of equal length, and what I've done, I'm using these little mini pegs by here for now, and got the post, the post, and the two cross members and what I've done i made it into a fence and I'm going to place it over here now at the moment I have done three of these so far this morning just clipped them together I can have to glue them now with super glue and these by here then are some of the flat pieces which I got left over from the posts which are trimmed off in the end but I think personally the rounded bit on the top makes it neater as I'll show you the rounded pieces on the top makes it neater for the post tops and then you can use these cross members just a couple little clips across here and I plan to put them all along this section here probably about eight of these sections now I got about Six of these clipped off ready by here, three done by there, and I've got a pile of these little posts ready. And what I plan to do then, show you now, you've got sample pots here from Wilco, and they just colour test the pots. And this one is called Java Bean, which is a very dark brown, is paint the rails and paint the post. And I shall show you that now in the near future. Hi folks, 
what they've done this morning now as you may see the fencing in the background I've got the two cross members and I've got three uprights for the fencing now as you may well notice I have completed eight of them these are all super glued now ready for fixing I shall have a look at that now in the next few days but what I shall do first I shall put a coat of this brown sample paint which I got by here as you may see the bayer and over the next day or two an hour I shall do that and I shall show another update then hi folks what we've done this morning now as well as the fencing which I just showed you is what I've done I've glued all the animals down by here now you can see the little tubes of glue by here super glue it is by the way and as you can see there's cattle sheep horses there is a couple of dogs and there's a couple of little lambs here as well and I've done a little bit more on the other side of the railway I shall show you that now in a minute here is the other side of the railway which I just mentioned about now what I've done I've glued down this piece of hedge I do have this little piece of fence which I do intend to put up by here in the near future now the pigs are glued down the cattle is glued down there is a ram there there's a few more cattle and they're all glued down all around as far as here now what I have to do, I got half a dozen sheep by here, I gotta sort them up now, I gotta glue them down sometime, and we shall show you a little bit more soon. Hi folks, here we are, what we've done this morning is painted all these fence ends by here, and we've stuck them down, it is now evening time, and what I've done, I've added a little bit of PVA glue along the edge and I put a little dab of that green grass material along it as well. It is now looking quite good. Now we shall show you the length of the track in a second now. Here we are folks, an update on the Scenics on Collins Model Railway. What I did today in the local Poundland store I had six binder clips in the pack and a couple of weeks ago I had this pack of 12 now what I've done with them I've used the binder clips as you can see on the fences two binder clips it will clip two posts together and it will clip the two cross members together and what I've done now, I made the eight sections along for the side of the track. One, two, three, four, five. You may well notice I use crocodile clips in this one. Six, seven, and eight. Now then, over the next day or two now, I shall glue these. And I shall paint them. And I shall fix them down. And... As you may well notice in the background, the fence is already fixed down over there and I've added a little bit of the green grass stuff for the scenics. So we shall come back to you in a few days time now and she'll show you what we've done. Here we have another little item finished this evening. What you may well notice, go a little closer by here. I have trimmed a little small section of the fence off as you can see they can now use it as a gate I've got this fence by here the grey fence for the pig pen as you may well notice a hedge in the background and I've got the fence along the edge of the railway and as you can see the cattle are still here and the sheep as well and we shall add a little bit more of this to this soon Here we have the fence in, it is now put in place and as you may see I got a couple of little small model cars and a couple of these little tea lights here. 
just holding it in place for the time being. Leave it set now and off now. I put a little bit of filler on the joints, as you might well see by here. Here we are now, folks. The fence is all painted. I dropped a little bit of green, this grass down here at the moment as well, to tidy it up a bit. And it is now looking pretty good at the moment. And as you can see, the one in the background is done as well. And she's not looking too bad. There's the little brush I use for painting in the middle of the track. Oh, and you may well notice. I put a little bit of glue down by here and I stuck an odd railway sleeper in by here. And by here. By here. And by here. And we shall tidy up a little bit more on by here soon. That's it for now. Here we have a view looking down the two twin tracks and of the two fences which I have erected. They're both around about four feet long and now we're going to leave them now to set before I do any more work on it. That's it for now. I have run the both coaches down here as well and as you may well notice there is plenty of room between the coaches and the both fences. There you go. I shall do a running session soon for you. Here we are. What we've done this morning to finish off this morning's session is I have stuck this gate by here to this post. And what I've done with this little piece here I cut a little small section from one of the pieces I got which are very very short at the moment, leftover pieces. So I thought I'll stick it in there now and I'll utilise it for that. Now we shall zoom the camera back a bit and as you may see then the fence in long here and here it's like a paddock fence and what I've done I've had a bit of glue, the super glue and I let it dribble down the post by her on all the posts. Now she's stuck quite solid now at the moment. I'm quite pleased with that. Leave the hedge by there as well. And I got the fence. I got the two pigs in there. And what I tend to do sometimes, see if I can make a little small hut by her somewhere. I'll probably make it out to these coffee stirrers which are used for the fencing. We'll have a look at that sometime in the future. Here we can see the fencing is all completed, it is now painted and as you may well see the two carriages are in there and they're both about an inch or more away from the fencing so there's plenty of room for the train to go past and we shall have another little look at this in the future, maybe add a little more scenics like grass and stuff like that on it. We shall have a look at that in the near future. Here we have the fence which I erected about a week ago. It has now been painted and it's looking quite neat and tidy. I have tidied the fence up on the side as well with a little bit of hedgerow by the side. And I've also done a short bit of a hedgerow by here as well to tidy and sweeten it up a bit. Now I shall show a view from on the railway side of it, to the railway track side. Here we are folks. We have a view from the railway line. Looking along to where we see the fence which we erected on the edge of the baseboard. And as you may see, the fence has now been painted. And a little piece of the hedgerow in the background we put in there as well. And there's a little small piece in by here as well. And that's it for now on the scenery parts which I've added on the layout.